All this time, we have been talking about companies that purchase their assets at the beginning of the year. If they purchase their assets at the beginning of the year, when you calculate your depreciation expense, you calculate the depreciation expense using straight line method, double declining balance, or units of production, and you take the entire amount that you calculated as your depreciation expense in your first year. However, most companies purchase their assets when they need those assets, which means they can purchase an asset any time during the year. If they purchase an asset at the beginning of the year, you do the calculations that you've seen so far and everything works out fine. However, if they purchase the asset anywhere in between in the middle of the year, you have to calculate what we call partial year depreciation. Partial year depreciation is calculated for the amount of months that you hold the asset. So you take the annual depreciation calculation that you've done before, but you multiply it by the number of months from the date of purchase to the end of the year, divided by 12. So basically you're prorating the depreciation based on the number of months that you've held the asset. We'll take a look at an example next. For this example, on the 1st of January 2012, we purchased an asset at a cost of $10,000. The residual value is $1,000 and the asset's useful life is three years. Using straight line method, what is the depreciation expense in the first year? You know that your depreciation expense is equal to cost minus residual value divided by estimated useful life in years. So 10,000 minus 1,000 divided by 3, which gives you $3,000 of depreciation every year. You're going to debit your depreciation expense account, credit accumulated depreciation account. Now let's assume that this asset was not purchased on January 1st, 2012. They purchased this asset on July 1st, 2012. Now we have not held the asset for the entire year, so we cannot take the $3,000 of depreciation. That is not our depreciation expense. It's less. How much less? We need to figure out how many months we've held the asset. If you need to, use your fingers to calculate the months. That way you will not go wrong. So we've held the asset all of July, all of August, all of September, all of October, all of November, and all of December. That is six months. So to calculate your partial year depreciation, what you do is you use the same method to calculate your full year's depreciation. So you take your 10,000 minus 1,000 divided by 3, but then you multiply that amount by 6 over 12, 6 months over 12 months, which gives you a depreciation expense of $1,500. So if we purchase this asset on July 1st, 2012, how much will be the depreciation expense in the first year? The answer is $1,500. Whenever you're doing any depreciation calculations, pay particular att attention to the date that you purchase the asset. And later, when we sell the asset, you also need to make sure that you take into account partially your depreci depreciation in the year of sale.